Hi everybody, I'm Sneha and this is my friend Kesha. And today I finally got hold of him because he's a very busy person. But he is also very kind. So he has given some of his precious time to us. I thought this video will be about things that uh, one should do after they have given their gate exam. And us uh, are expecting a good score and might be in the phase of, you know, deciding what institution they should go for, for their master's program. So a quick introduction about Kesha. So hello everyone. Um, I graduated from my BTEC in 2021. I gave the gate to senior. I joined here at ISC, MTEC Research and Systems. Um, so currently I work in the area of operating systems and computer architecture. So yeah. Yeah. And hi, I'm Sneha. I'm doing my MTech in CSA coursework in IC Bangalore. So um, I thought this video will be all about, he will be, you know, explaining that how he had decided to go for MTech research, research in IIC and how I did not choose MTech research and why I choose MTech coursework and all those things. Uh, I thought this would be helpful for those who are in that phase for deciding what they should be doing in their masters and all. So I have prepared a few questions for you. So uh, I want to ask you, when did you realize that you want to do research and that too in systems? Okay, so why I want to do research? Well, uh, I come from a family where everybody is a scholar. My father, uh, brother, grandfather, everybody is a PhD. So kind of like from the, when I was a child, I've been uh, groomed to be, uh, you know, curious about things and uh, think about things in a very deep manner. So, yeah, and personally, I'm also like a very curious person. I like to think about, think about things in a deep manner and, you know, try to explore uh, various things. So that's, I knew I wanted to be a researcher, uh, at least initially in my career. Uh, and how I decided for systems, well, I utilized my entirety of BTEC for that. I explored uh, various things in uh, computer science, uh, from AI to theoretical CS to uh, programming and uh, software development. Uh, by doing various internships and trying to understand about the industry, I landed upon that, you know, I, I'm really fluent in uh, software engineering and I really like to un understand uh, how, how that works. But, uh, so, you know, I've been working on building applications, but I've been very curious about, you know, okay, so I'm building user space applications, all of that, but how are things working under the hood? How, how does a computer actually understand binary? How does it translate those high level instructions to low level? That sort of thing. So I, I became interested in, you know, operating system. How, how does it do all those, you know, uh, magical seeming things. So I, you know, there are a lot of good resources via which you can understand if, uh, you know, operating systems is your, um, is your area of interest. So there's a course on NPTEL by uh, uh, Saurav Bansal, a professor at IIT Delhi. Uh, he, very good course. If you really like operating systems or you're trying to figure out whether you like it, please at least watch a few lectures of that. And, you know, by watching a few lectures of that, I, I became a fan of, uh, you know, uh, systems in general. And uh, I knew for sure, uh, for sure that I want to go for research in systems. So by the end of, I would say second year, it was pretty much decided that I want to go for research. Now the, the decision point was whether I want to go abroad or in India. So I looked up various professors in India and decided that, you know, hey, uh, India is not so bad in computer science research in systems. Uh, so it was decided that I would sit for gate and yeah. So. <laughs> You know, Kesha, I, I also feel that research is so cool a lot. <laughs> so, uh, now that you have said that you have this thing from very, you know, very childhood that you want to do something in research and all, because, uh, you know, you are from researchers' family and all. But uh, if someone did not, um, you know, get the chance to explore in their BTEC that oh, what they are really into, like, I think for most of the population, they don't really think about doing research and, you know, students just casually do their undergraduation, mm -hmm. they don't really explore and all. So how should they utilize this, um, you know, two, three months gap if in case they want to know ki if they like uh, operating system, this, this is systems and intelligent system, there are two tools. So, yeah. yeah. So will you explain about that? What is in pool C and what is in pool B? Uh, well, to answer the first question, like uh, after gate and before uh, the interviews at IITs and all, there is uh, sufficient time to understand whether you really like systems, AI or T uh, theoretical CS. So don't worry too much about it if you didn't spend a lot of time in your bachelors. Anyway, in the interviews and when you enter MS, they don't expect you to have a lot of experience and all. They, MS is basically uh, an you know, intermediary of PhD and MTech. You want to do research, but you don't have any experience in that. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, and uh, yeah, that one or two months time is sufficient to understand what area you want. And um, 
as for the uh, second question, uh, whether to decide between all of these things. Yes. Uh, well, that really depends upon what interests you. You know, uh, pool A, uh, pool A is known as critical CS. Uh, pool B is systems. Basically, pool C is speaking yeah. of IIC. Yeah. 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 There are three pools, pool A, pool B and pool C. Only in ISC. This yeah. is not a very general nomenclature. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in theoretical CS, there is cryptography, there is algorithms, but not the kind of algorithms where you write code. Yeah. It's about finding proofs. proofs. And uh, you know, she'll be able to speak much more about it. She had done that course. Pool B is, you know, you, know, you love code. You can like write 500 lines of code every day, think about bugs and you know, pull your hair out about that. <laughs> uh, if you really love coding. And uh, you know, you, you have a passion about understanding how computer systems work, definitely go for pool B. It, it includes subjects such as architecture, operating system, uh, computer networks, distributed systems, and there are a bunch of other things as well. Um, and uh, as for pool C, that's your AI. You know, everybody loves AI. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Everybody loves AI because everybody loves AI. <laughs> uh, and uh, everybody loves money as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so, but uh, uh, yeah, so that's the answer to that question. <laughs> Um, okay, so as we were speaking about this pool A, pool B and pool C, I would just like to say that um, that he is in Amtech research and I am in Amtech uh, coursework. So we would uh, like to have a discussion about how these two courses differentiate from each other. So I would speak for Amtech CSA and you speak for Amtech research. Okay, so uh, why I have chosen this Amtech research, uh, Amtech coursework? because I had no idea about research and all, okay? So, uh, and I, I never uh, think about research or anything as such. And uh, so, and I did not spend a lot of time in this, you know, uh, few months gap after you get your gate score and, you know, before you come to your college. And that was my worst uh, decision to make that I did not do anything. So, like in Amtech coursework, there is, uh, you know, they try to balance out all the pools, like pool A, pool B, pool C, what we have talked about. In pool A, there's proof and theory and all. In pool B, you got a flavor of system subject. And in pool C, basically, yeah, linear algebra, statistics, and uh, basically ML and AI stuff. So I uh, took this because I did not uh, know what all these subjects consist of. So I, right now, I have done my first semester, I'm currently in my second semester, so I got a really good idea of what uh, the uh, subjects offer. So that is, uh, in a way, good for those yeah. who have no idea about what these subjects are, so that, uh, you know, you can, like, now, if I would be sure that I want to do something in, like, Pool B or Pool C, I can, you know, carry on to do PhD, right? In, right in here in IAC. Yeah. So that was one thing about coursework. Huh. And in research, you huh. talk about research. Huh. To, uh, also to add out to one point, like yeah. there are many people in, in my own lab that chose to do PhD from India, on, uh, from ISC only after doing an MTech. They, many of them had offers from abroad as well, but they like the culture here. Okay. So yeah, um, as for my experience with why you should choose MTech research over MTech or you know, should you consider yeah. uh, it as an option? So, like I mentioned before, it is an intermediary between a PhD and bachelor's. There is no expectation of you to already know about research or how things work at all. But uh, yeah, uh, so there's one that difference. The second thing is you, the number of courses you do is less and it tends yeah. to be more focused. Like you can't just yeah. say that, okay, I, I, I'm going to learn AI. I, I, I mean, the AI pool, the pool C, but I want to do a cryptography course. So maybe your, pro, your pra, prof might allow you to do that, but should you? Because the main focus of this course is to get sufficient research work done uh, and that's the requirement for your degree. So you can't just do any, any you know, exploration kind of thing like MTech people get to do. They get to explore each subject in each pool, yeah. and like many subjects in each pool and then decide, okay, that this is the area I want to work in and the second year you get to work in a lab. Yeah. yeah. I think I want to add on his point that in um, basically in these big institution, um, they want you to excel in each and every subjects they, that they offer. So that is one con for MTech coursework that you know, you don't really actually get to uh, uh, deep dive in any subjects because you don't really have that time because there are a lot of uh, courses that we have to do in Amtech CSA. Uh, on the contrary, in Amtech research, they have very few subjects. Uh, let's say we have four subjects to do in first semester. So they can go for two subjects, right? Two or three. Two or three. Uh, they have a choice, but we don't have a choice in that sense. And currently he's in second semester, he's doing one. Two courses. Yeah, two courses okay. he's doing, but he could choose for one. Mm -hmm. But they have a pretty much, of course, uh, a lot of flexibility yeah, research there. work to do also. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is uh, their hectic part. Yeah, research work. 
Yeah. Um, to add on to like that, like just to explain that. So what happens is when you do four or five courses, and like at a, you start off, you know, with a you know gamer in you, and I'm going to learn everything and all. But you know, when assignments and all start kicking in, you started to care about more. You know, I have to get this done by tonight. I don't care. Yeah. Like it's a matter of finishing deadlines and not learning enough. Whereas, like in the first semester when I did my subjects, I I spent a lot of time with assignments. So I I had to do a lot of googling and all. And you know, when you spend a lot of time with the subjects, you get to learn more. Okay. Uh, you like you might be able to get good grades uh, by like you know finishing deadlines and all. But in terms of learning, I think. It is much more beneficial if you do less subjects. I'm so, like research. Okay. Yeah. In terms of learning, of course, I'm like uh-huh. research one, I'm like CSA zero. <laughs> in that case, so. like one to if, if it, uh-huh. we have to give a score, okay. so I'm like research in that case one, of course, right? So um, another question would be, after a grade score has come, what was your strategy? Because in all of the IITs and IC as well, I think there is this interview round, round for I'm like yeah. research. So what was your strategy? Uh, well, you know. Firstly, like you don't know what rank you're going to get. You might have prepared for top hundred, but things mm-hmm. don't work out. There's a lot of luck factor and all. Thankfully, I, I aimed for MTech Research and CSA, and I had sufficient rank to mm-hmm. get the interview call at the very least. Uh, so, one thing that I had in my advantage, in my favor, was that uh, when I was preparing for GATE, I know uh, I chose to study a lot from books rather than courses, and you know just practicing questions blindly. So because of that, I I had the advantage of you know. I knew how to go through text and you know uh, make points and be a very have a very theoretical approach to it. Uh, so I'm focusing a lot of concepts and uh, problem solving comes naturally with it generally. So so I knew that I wanted to uh, interview in uh, architecture and OS only. So there are a lot of good resources that I can point you to. Like I said before, there's an NPTEL lecture series by Professor Saurav Bansal of IIT Delhi. There are synthesis lecture on uh, on computer architecture. Um, there's also uh, what was that? Hennessy book on computer architecture. So these are really good resources. For example, in the systems pool, uh, if you want to prepare. So if if you want me to generalize, that's the approach you should take. You should do uh, you know modern courses they, like they, for AI. There's a Gilbert Strand for linear yeah, algebra yeah, course. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the, many people will point you to the right resources. But the point is that now you need to not focus on problem solving, but you need to focus on the concepts and you need to. Ask yourself questions. Like if I'm like sitting here and I want to give a, um, you know, I'm going to give an interview for architecture. So what happens is the interview is they they keep you on on the foot. They're going to ask questions that you may not have thought of before or you may not have read in the text. So for example, let's say in architecture there's a, a t- something called as a hardware TLB. Okay. So uh, let's say it has 128 entries. The professor may ask, oh, why is it not 256? Or if it were 256, what's the pros and cons of that? And you know, so if you Ask yourself questions. You might, might, uh, uh, you know, before the even in the interview begins, you might even approximate what kind of questions they might ask, and uh, you know, so it's that sense of curiosity about the subject that really helps you clear the interviews. I would say. Yeah, huh. and for MTech coursework student who want to do MTech co- coursework, I think the best strategy to prepare in these few months before uh, coming to college would be uh, first thing is that you should. Basically, I have uh, done a few of these things, but some of these things I have asked from my friends because they, some of my friends who have utilized these two, three months very efficiently. So uh, one thing that you can do is this uh, Gilbert String course on uh, linear algebra and probability, which is very good. It covers all your, you know, from basic, uh, he teaches you. And it is good if you are going from uh, for ML or AI subjects for mathematical background. Okay. And another thing is you can prepare for these lead code and interview bit because if you are coming into masters for the sake of placements, so I don't think you would get sufficient time here, you know, during your semester to prepare for all this. So you can do these things um, in these few months to get in touch with these subjects. And uh, another thing is there is one course on statistical uh, uh, statistics uh, 101 from Harvard you can also uh, you know study that course uh, for you know for having this computational background so that you don't have that much difficulty catching up with this subject here in ISC or any you know IIT and another good thing uh, that one of my friend has done was that he was sure of few colleges that he wanted to go in so he asked uh, the seniors there that what are the subjects they're offering first semester. So uh, for uh, let's say there are subjects in computer architecture here, a linear algebra and probability here in first semester, uh, design and algorithm here in first semester. So you can uh, you know also prepare for the subjects already in hand so that you don't have to work that hard you know next semester because trust me it's very 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 hectic and you know nobody have 
thought of that like, right we did not have any idea that Nobody how tells us how tough and tech is going to be yeah we so. <laughs> but after getting into the college i thought that how come we never knew ki aisa bhi hota matlab it it was all gate preparation ho gayi ab to sab koi wala aa gaya ye kar lo beta fir life set hai bahut hard hai aise nahi hota life set isliye hoti because you work really hard here that's how things get set yeah and yeah. also ek achhi cheez hai ki aise hard matlab aise institution mein padhne ki ki they prepare you for the worst is the job cutting kya hoga i don't think this company mein bhi itna kaam karoge ha हाँ इवन इवन इफ वी टॉक टू आवर सीनियर्स या है ना तो वो कहते हैं कि अगर तुमने आई एस सी के सेमिस्टर कर लिए अच्छे से तो फिर तुम्हें तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं होने वाली मतलब दैट इज वन यू नो गुड थिंग दैट आई थिंक ऑफ एंड स्लीप पीसफुली वो है इस सब इस सब नहीं करना पड़ेगा हाँ तो तो वही सब चीजें सो मेनी ऑफ यू माइट फाइंड दिस हेल्पफुल एंड आई होप यू ऑल डू सो क्या